Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know you have bad valves? There are a lot of reasons why the intake or exhaust valve go bad. The valves can become sticky, the valves may not open and close all the way, the exhaust valve may be burnt, the valves may be bent, um, the valves can also break off like a piece of it, and so on. When there's a problem with the intake or exhaust valve, this is going to cause all sorts of issues. When you start to have valve issue, you're going to experience an engine misfire, you're going to experience rough idle, you're going to experience poor acceleration, you're going to experience poor gas mileage, you're going to hear some sort of noise coming from the valve area, and overall you're going to have poor engine performance. There are two tests I'm going to recommend, and it's going to be a dry compression test and a leak down test. The reason why you do not want to jump straight to a leak down test because you can have bad timing and you want to check that first. When conducting a dry compression test or a regular compression test, you want to make sure that all cylinders have normal readings. You also want to make sure that if one cylinder has lower reading, then there's a good chance you may have valve issue on that cylinder that's showing low readings. If you have low compression, on all cylinders, you want to check for a blown head gasket or maybe you might have timing issue. The chance for all valves going bad is going to be extremely low. So again, if you have low readings on all cylinders, check for bad timing and check for blown head gasket. Most likely you're not going to have valve issue. However, if you check all cylinders and let's just say this compression is good, this compression is good, this compression is good, and this compression is bad on this cylinder, then now you want to check for either uh, bad valves or possibly bad piston rings. If one cylinder is showing lower reading compared to the rest of the cylinder, next conduct a leak down test. The difference between a dry compression test and a leak down test is that a dry compression test will show how much pressure your engine can create and the leak down test will show if your combustion chamber can hold pressure. You're probably wondering how does a leak down test work and basically it's very simple. You set the uh, cylinder to top dead center and when both valves are closed you're going to force air through the spark plug hole and if the cylinder is completely sealed there should be no leak in the combustion chamber. A leak down test is a good way to test for bad intake valve, bad exhaust valve, bad head gasket, bad piston rings, and so on. When both valves are closed and the piston is at top dead center and when you force air into the combustion chamber, it should be able to hold pressure. When you hear air is escaping out of the combustion chamber, that means you have an issue somewhere. For example, if you hear air is coming out of the intake side, that means you have bad intake valves. And you hear air coming out of the exhaust side, for example, if you hear air coming out of the tailpipe or the exhaust manifold, that means you have bad exhaust valves. If you remove the radiator cap and you see air coming out of it, that means you have a blown head gasket. And if you remove the PCV or, or you remove the engine cap or you remove the engine dipstick and you hear air coming out of it, that means you have bad piston rings or worn cylinder walls. If you're new to this and you can't determine where the air leak is coming from, and let, let's just say you can't tell if it's coming out of the intake uh, side or the exhaust side or from the um, tailpipe or the uh, radiator, then you can always conduct a smoke test. Conducting a smoke test is the exact same way you're going to conduct a leak down test. Instead of forcing air into the combustion chamber, now you're going to force smoke into the combustion chamber. When you force smoke into the combustion chamber, look where the smoke is coming out of. If it's coming out of the intake side, that means you have bad intake valves. If you see smoke coming out of the tailpipe, that means you have bad exhaust valves. And if you see smoke coming out of the uh, engine dipstick or PCV or the uh, engine cap, that means you have bad piston rings. If conducting a dry compression test or a leak down test is too complicated for you, and I don't blame you because you kind of need to be handy 
Well, then you can always buy yourself a boroscope and all you have to do is just remove the uh, spark plug and stick the uh, scope down into the combustion chamber and you could visually inspect the intake and exhaust valves. Before using a boroscope, make sure to set the piston to top dead center. And the way you do this is you remove the uh, spark plug and you're going to stick um, a quarter inch extension about that long and you want it to go down until it touches the top of the piston head. Next, you want to rotate the engine either clockwise or counterclockwise depending on your engine design and you want to keep rotating it until the um, quarter inch extension is at the highest point. Then you know you're at top dead center. Once you're at top dead center, stick the uh, scope on the bore scope down into the hole of the uh, spark plug. And next, you want to visually inspect the intake valve and the exhaust valves. You want to make sure they are both closed. And you want to make sure that the valves are not stuck open. If it's stuck open, that means the valves are sticky. Next, you want to check for burnt valve on the, on the exhaust. The exhaust uh, valves are going to be smaller than the intake valve. So if you see the exhaust valve looking extremely burnt and you look at the seat right next to the uh, uh, exhaust valve and it looks like it's burnt as well, that means you're going to have either bad valve seat or a bad exhaust valve. And next you want to check for broken exhaust valve. If the valves look broken or a piece broke off, then it's time to change those valves. If you think you have bad valves and you remove the cylinder head, and you visually inspect the uh, intake valve and exhaust valves and visually it looks okay to you maybe the valves are not okay and I'm going to show you guys the next test the next test is to use brake cleaner or lacquer thinner or maybe you can also use water for this test you want to make sure you install the spark plug on each cylinder Next, you want to make sure all the valves are closed. Once you have all the spark plug installed, spray either a brake cleaner or lacquer thinner, or you can pour water on it and let it sit there for a few minutes. So basically, you're going to check for leaks. So when you put brake cleaner, lacquer thinner, or water, make sure you fill it up all the way to the top and again let it sit for a few minutes so if the uh, valves are bad for example let's say you have bad exhaust valve you're going to see the uh, water or the brake cleaner or the lac thinner come out on this side over here and if you have bad intake valves then you're going to see again brake cleaner and lac thinner and water come out on the intake side and lastly make sure you don't have bad valve train because you do not want to have any false tests i hope you found this video useful as always thank you for watching and subscribe to top five auto repairs